So this here is going to be a video on how to paint Night Lords. These are Chaos Space Marine uh, kit, and then we've added the Games Workshop Night Lords um, upgrade kit to give us the helmets and the shoulder guards. So as you can see, I, they turn out quite nicely. If you'd like to make yours look very similar, if you're doing Night Lords, uh, please feel free to stay tuned, and you can see how we got here from the base models. Uh, if you do find this helpful, please feel free to leave a like or, or a subscribe to the channel because that really, really helps. And aside from that, uh, stay tuned and you'll see uh, how we got where we're going. So this is going to be a painting video involving painting our Night Lords. So we haven't done any of these yet, so I thought this would be a great time to do it. We've got the Forge World kit that gives us the head as well as the... Uh, the actual uh, shoulder pads of which we've got one on either side and then we've got a power sword because this will be the aspiring champion so and then we have another squad of five down behind us so the first thing we've done with our model is we've spray painted him with a uh, chaos black primer and that's going to let all the future layers stick to the model very nicely so we're going to do that first which is what we've got done here the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start working on the nice blue armor that's characteristic of the Night Lords. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to start with a base of Cantor Blue right here. Using a relatively detailed brush, we're just going to start slopping that on here like so. We can clean it up as we go, but for now, we just want to get that nice blue color into all the spaces where that blue will go. Like so. So we'll do all of this and we'll meet back here in a few minutes um, and you'll see how far we've gotten. So here's our Night Lord now that we've finished with our Cantor Blue and as you can see he's uh, definitely more blue than he was. The black is still there where we didn't actually cover, put any paint down. So the next color that we're going to do is going to be Lead Belcher and we're going to do that on all of the metal that's on our model right here now. So we're going to take a little bit of this lead belcher here and with a detailed brush we're going to put it where we want it which are going to be on all of these metal type highlight things that are here. So we've got this piece of metal, that piece of metal, third one over here, And we'll continue to go around the model finding all the metal. We'll meet back here in a few minutes and you'll see where we're at. So this is our model now that we finished with our lead belcher. And as you can see, we did the knife and the chains and any grenades and any of these um, bandoliers, as well as any pistols, weapons, anything like that. Any little cabling on the back, uh, backpacks. Um, and then the um, aerator tubes that are on the uh, helmets. So we've got that finished. What we're going to do now, we're going to use some Mephiston Red. And we're going to do all the loincloths, as well as the bat ears, and all of the bats on the uh, shoulder pads. So with our detail brush. I'm just going to go in. Touching up all the cloths like that. And we'll do the rest of them around as well as the inside here. So we'll do those now and we'll meet back here in a few moments for the next part of our video. This is our unit now that we finished with the Memphis in Red. And as you can see, we did the bat ears as well as any of the loincloths. And we did the bat wings that are on the shoulder pads. So our next step is to add a Newman Oil shade to all of the red as well as all of the metal and all of the blue um, just to bring out some of the detail that's there and then we'll start our highlight color afterwards. So we're just going to take a little bit of that Newland oil and just coat all of the red as well as all of the black, all of the blue Do 
do all the tabards and chains and armor. We'll do all of this and then on all the units and we'll meet back here in a few minutes. So this is how the model looks after we've added the Newland Oil Shade. And as you can see, we've done the all of the front metal piece as well as the cloth. We focused a lot on the back of the ears just because we wanted to make sure those lines reappeared. Um, as well as on the wings, on the shoulder pads, just to make sure we got some detailed grooves there for when we're going to go back through them with a highlight color. So now that our Newland Oil shade has dried, we're going to start brightening back up the unit. And the first thing we're going to do is take a little bit of Mephiston Red again. And we're just going to go over some of the red, um, edge highlighting it up and getting it um, a little bit brighter than it was here. just like that. So we're going to do that with all of the rest of the red and we'll meet back here in a few minutes. So there's our Night Lord now that we've brightened it back up a little bit with Mephiston Red. What we're going to do now is brighten it even further with some Evil Sun Scarlet which is a brighter red still. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of that and just dry brush that on. And sort of lightening up those high points again even a little bit brighter than they were. Just sort of like that. Same as that, like so. So we're definitely getting a bit of a dark crease here and we're starting to lighten up as we get further on. So we're gonna keep doing that and then we'll meet back here in a few minutes. So this is us after we finished our Evil Sun Scarlet. And what we're going to do now is add another highlight layer of Wild Rider Red, which is a little brighter still than the Evil Sun Scarlet here. So just like that, you now have your Wild Rider Red highlight layer. We'll do the same for the other side and then the other models and we'll meet back here in a few more minutes. So we're going to add one more highlight layer over the top of that, and it'll seem like a strange one, but we're going to take some Cadian Flesh Tone. And very nice, lightly, we're going to just dry brush that right over the edge. That's just to make it stand out a little tiny bit more because this will probably be the last of the highlights on our red. Now that we're finished with our red, we're going to go back and clean up the blue. So any of the areas like on the ears here that we had left black and we didn't actually get with our Cantor Blue originally, we're going to come back over with Cantor Blue now and we're going to clean all of those up. With just a fine detail brush. We're just going to start painting in all of those areas again, as well as cleaning up any areas where the red spilled over. So we'll do most of this now, and we'll meet back here in a few minutes. We're going to add an edge highlight with Calgar Blue, but basically you can use any lighter blue you happen to have lying around. I happen to have Calgar Blue, so all we're going to do is take a little bit of that lighter blue, and just edge highlight along any pieces of armor that don't have a gold trim on them, like so. Same as on the edge of the shoe here. So we'll finish keeping on this. We'll do the other units. We'll be back here in a few minutes. So as you can see here, we've taken our Calgar Blue and we've lightened up all of the trim on the ears. 
like so. As well as over the eyes and then edge highlighted all of the armor pieces including the back and the backpack as you can see there. So now that we're finished that our next step is to take a little bit of retributor armor and start going over all of the trim on the back on the shoulder pads on the front of the model the skull here belt buckles and things like that so we're going to do all the trim now and we'll meet back here in a few minutes so this is our night lord now that the gold is finished and before we shade it we're actually going to do the bone work as well so we're going to take a little bit of rakarth flesh and what we're going to do with that is we're going to go over all of the skulls on the shoulder pads as well as anything dangling here same as on that side the backpack in this case has two as well as the big skull on the back here some of the other units have skulls on the ground like so and then most of them also have skulls on the shoulder pads as well as on the um, backpacks as well so we're going to do all of those with Rakar Flesh, and then we'll make back here again, and then we'll look at shading. Here's our Night Lord now that the bone is finished as well. So as you can see, we've done the gold earlier, and then as we hit the shoulder pads, you can see that the skulls are all colored in, and they're all done with Rakar Flesh as a nice base, and we'll shade them in one moment. There is one last thing we're going to do. We're going to do all of the leather cases and backpacks um, pouches and things like that. So we're going to do all of those with Rhinox Hide and then any of the little straps or um, uh, tape um, bandages here, things that are holding them in place, we're going to do those with Rakath Flesh. So we're actually going to do a little bit more Rakath Flesh there, but we need the brown underneath it first. So Rhinox Hide on all of these pouches and then we'll do the, the cloths. Then we'll meet back here again in a few moments. So this is our Night Lord now that we're ready for shade. So as you can see, we've done the brown uh, holster uh, satchel. We've done the white cloth that's holding them together, the white hilt of the sword. So the gold, the Rakar flesh, and the brown are all about to get shaded. And what we're going to do is shade everything with a seraphim sepia. And that'll make a warm gold as well as bring out the bone and the cloth. So we're going to do that right now. I'm just going to put a little bit on all of the gold. Get the swords. We're also going to do the skeletons. Coat them quite nicely. Seraphim sepia is excellent for skulls. We'll do the ones in the backpack as well. So I'll continue with this. We'll do the other models. We'll let the whole thing dry and then we'll come back for our, some highlights. So this is our Night Lord now that the wash has dried and as you can see we've really brought out the detail on the skull and the swords and the uh, bone as well as the, the face on the back. So all of these details are now out. So now we're going to start highlighting these back up. So we're going to start with the metal here and the first thing we're going to do is take a very dry brush layer of iron breaker and we're going to just lightly dry brush that over all of the um, the metal that's here, the chain work, the grenades, these um, respirator coils, as well as this, these bandoliers and such. So we'll do those up now, and then we'll meet back here in a few minutes. So we're just going to take a little bit of iron breaker and just dry brush it right over all of our metallics. Just to lighten those up like so. So now that we're finished with the highlight of the metal, what we're going to do is a highlight of the gold. So we're going to take a little bit of Liberator Gold and we're just going to dry brush some of that right onto to 
right onto the goal that we're seeing here. I'll add a nice highlight to that. Just like so. So we'll keep at that and then we'll meet back here in a few minutes. So here's our Night Lord after we finish with that Liberator Gold. So what we're going to do now is highlight up the bone. So we're going to use a little bit of Screaming Skull. And we're going to dry brush that over all of the bone areas. So something like that. <clears throat> so we'll continue with this and we'll meet back here in a few minutes. So here's our Night Lord now that all the bone work is done. So we're finished with all that as well. So now what we're going to move on to is to add a highlight layer on the brown, which is the leather on the cases and the boxes and such like that. So we're going to do that with a little bit of scrag brown. And we're just going to dry brush that right on those cases there. So here's our Night Lord now so far. And it's looking quite nice. What we're going to do now is focus on the eyes. So we're going to take a little tiny bit of Mephiston Red. And we're going to just lightly put the lenses into the eye holes there. So just like that there. And we've got our red eyes in place now. So our Night Lord is now almost finished. But one of the characteristic signs of Night Lords is the thunder pattern, uh, lightning pattern that's on the armor. So we're going to add that now as well, just to add a little bit more flair to these guys. So the first thing we're going to do for that is we're going to take some Lothar and Blue. And with a very fine detail brush. We're going to make a couple of little strikes here. Like that. So we put a little bit here on this knee pad, a little bit on this um, shin guard. And a couple more over here on this shin guard like so, just with Lothar and Blue. And we put one on the back panel here. So a few of these other units. Remember to make nice long strokes. that. So now that that's dried, we're going to take a little tiny bit of white scar and an even finer line. We're going to trace over some of those spots there.
pretty much like that. We'll do the others and we'll meet back here. So this is our lightning after it's dried. And as you can see, there's some nice lightning patterns on the armor now. It'll distinctly stand out and add to that Night Lord's effect that we're looking for. So painting our plasma gun, we're going to start with Cabalite Green and we're just going to paint all of the gun that's there. We're using a watered down paint because as it dries, it'll fill in the holes. Just like so. So we'll leave that dry for now and then we'll meet back here again for the next step. Now that our darker green layer is finished, what we're going to do is a quick shade with some Newell Noil. And that's just going to bring those lines back out. Just like so. So as you can see, the lines are more clear now, and they'll be even clearer once this dries. So now that the Null Noil has dried, we're going to take a little bit of that Moot Green, lighter color, and with a detail brush, we're going to very gently go over those raised areas, just like that. That gives us all of our lines. We'll meet back here when we start lightening it up. So now that the moot green is finished, we're going to do one more layer, even lighter still. And we'll use Nurgling Green, but anything will work. And with our detail brush again, we're going to go over these lines, but not as far down. So we're mainly focusing on the top and some of the corner. So now that the Nurgling Green has finished drying, what we're going to do now is one more touch and it'll be with some white scar. And all we're going to do with that is just touch the very corners. Just like so. just to brighten up the corners themselves. And there's our plasma coil finished. The last thing we're gonna be doing on our Night Lord before we finish is the power sword here. And what we're gonna do is a very simple process. We're gonna take a little bit of Stormhost Silver and we're gonna brighten up that sword completely. And then we're gonna glaze it with Gillum and Blue, which will give it that power type look. So we'll do that right now, and we'll start with the silver. Lastly, with our power sword, we're going to take a little bit of Gillum and Blue glaze, and we're going to put it all over the Stormhose silver that we put earlier.
And all we want to make sure here is that it spreads evenly across the whole sword. So I'll let that dry and we'll meet back here again. Our last step for our power sword is to take a little bit of that Stormhost Silver again. And just edge highlight. The edge of that sword. As well as a section of the center of it. Giving us a little bit of a two-tone effect. And we're going to do the same thing on the back side here. Just like that. So with that, our night lords are complete. We're going to base them and uh, clear coat them and we'll meet back here again for a wrap up. So this is our finished units now that we've done all of the basing and the clear coating and as you can see they've turned out quite nicely. Um, if you like this video and you yours turned out very similar and you found it very helpful feel please feel free to leave a like or a comment on the channel or subscribe because that really helps. Um, aside from that I hope you guys had a good time and I hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll meet you back here again uh, the next time we do a painting video as well. So thanks for watching and you guys have a lovely day.